we're, we're definitely looking for to maximize our profits to dollars. And uh, we've changed things up. We have not gone no-till like a lot of our other neighbors have. Uh, we tend to put our ammonia in right on the stubble in the spring and warm the ground up a little bit. We uh, planted our canola a little bit late this year. Uh, strictly the soil in this area was about minus four, uh, roughly May 10th. And then we wanted it to warm up at least a couple more degrees, so we planted it. Uh, so our neighbor, he went in about a week to 10 days before us. And uh, uh, we do have a very comparable fertilizer program with our neighbor. Uh, the only difference really is that uh, his is an Invigor variety and ours is a Roundup Ready variety. The plant was nice all, uh, all, all the way through the year. Uh, it did have a tough start, like we talked before, but uh, this is kind of, and it's still flowering a little bit, so, but his roots are, are fairly good, uh, I would consider, for, for an Invigor plant, and he's getting lots of pods and it's still flowering. And then here's our plant that is uh, treated with, uh, like I said, the two reju soil rejuvenant uh, passes plus the foliar application. We got roots that are coming out to uh, six inches is long. So, I mean, they are definitely going down, especially the tap root. It's uh, down, I would say, close to the seven inch mark. And we're getting lots of, a lot more white hairs this year on our canola roots. As you can see, they are roughly double the size of my neighbors. The stalk is definitely thicker and stronger, and it flowered unreal, to be honest. And then we have a lot more pods on our canola. Uh, we did count up the main stem, one stalk, and we had over 50 pods. The Roundup Ready variety is, is virtually the same on uh, any factors of having um, Scaratinia approach it and, and latch on. We watched it all along uh, when it was flowering and we decided that we wouldn't warrant a pass of, uh, uh, of uh, Rovlo, which is a huge saving per acre. Another thing that I really noticed about the best product, uh, the canola was very consistent, especially this year looking at other neighbors' uh, fields and canola in general, it was really patchy at first. Uh, ours was, of course, a little bit slower coming up because we were later, but when it came up, it came up very even. And as, as you can see by this field, it's, it's quite even. We're actually going to use it again next year, uh, pretty much the same way we used it this year. Uh, we feel that we're going to back off our inhydrous, our NH3, and then use more of the foliar when we are spraying.